Hey, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to create your own contract for your OnlyFans management agency so that you can start signing girls right away. But first, I've got to say, this is not official legal advice, so don't come after me if you fuck it up, all right? Okay, cool, great. Now that that's out of the way, I'll show you the contract. So in this, I'm going to show you the different sections that you'll need just to cover your bases. And then I'll show you a little trick how you can whip it up with ChatGPT, basically. Now, let's be honest, you shouldn't actually need this. This is more just to make the model feel comfortable and to look professional. And in a worst case scenario, you've got something there in case one of you fuck each other over. But in the three years I've been doing this, we've never had to result to this. We've never had to go to court. No one's had to sue anyone. It's more just to make the model feel comfortable, I've noticed. All right, so services agreement. You're gonna want to have the date. And then you're going to want to mention the two parties involved in the official way. So the client's name residing in wherever with the phone number with the email address they refer to as the client. Great. It's like, I don't know, legal speak. And then the other party is you. Business with tax identification number, your LLC number with phone number, the email address and where you're located. All right. So those are the two parties involved. Then you have the terms and conditions. So you want to say that, talk about the duration. It's pretty just loose here because, you know, there's not really going to be a set date. You just, you know, the model starts and then whenever it ends, cool. So then now you're talking about the services. So the company agrees that it shall provide its expertise to the client by supplying the following services in particular. Now you can pretty much word this in any way, depending on what you do, but this is pretty much it. So you'll be handling all the content, everything to do with the OnlyFans account. And then you're providing marketing services, supplying traffic to the OnlyFans account. When you boil it down, those are pretty much the two things you do. And then you'll talk about compensa uh, compensation, the big topic. Now, we usually do 50-50. This is what I recommend. If you're starting out, I'll do 50-50. Don't settle. Don't settle. Don't accept 30% or something unless you know, you're really new and the model is already far along in their journey. But anyway, that's a whole nother video. I've got a tendency to get sidetracked. But anyway, so you'll talk about the compensation, 50-50 basis. You're pretty much just wording it in like the legal way, you know, 50% of the profits, blah, blah, blah. And then you got a little bit here talking about how the company will have exclusive access to the OnlyFans account aside from the client. So, you know, you can't have like too many hands in the pie. I don't even know if that's a saying, but whatever. Uh, the limitation of liability, saying that your company will act to the best of its ability, blah, blah, blah. I'll do the best, all right? I'll do the best. Then you got warranties. So the company warrants that it'll perform, uh, perform the services in you know, the legal way. It's not going to break any laws. It's going to provide the services. And then the client warrants that uh, pretty much is giving you permission to do the services. And that, you know, they're of age, obviously, and they are allowed to create this type of content in whatever country they reside in. So you're going to cover that. Then you have the confidentiality. So, you know, you can't go handing out her nudes to all your mates at a party. And then pretty much saying that she can't rip off any of your strategies and go give them to another agency or whatever, right? So you got that. Then the of out-of-pocket expenses, liability for breach, legal speak stuff. Um, just saying if any party breaches the agreement and it costs the other person because of a mistake you made, then you can collect that money off them. You're not going to need it, but you know, legal stuff. And then you got the force majeure, however you pronounce it, whatever, legal stuff. Pretty much saying that if there's a hurricane or someone crashes into your house and destroys your computer and all your devices and you're unable to do your job, then it's not your fault. The model can't see you and whatever. Same thing if, you know, there's a hurricane or a fan panic, then, you know, the model can't create content for whatever reason, then you can't sue her, right? So that's that stuff. Um, no variation if in writing. If you guys change it, it's got to be in writing and signed. Otherwise, it doesn't count. That's what that means. Uh, independent service provider, it's saying that they are not your employee. You're not their employer. You're just doing a job as a contractor. Intellectual property rights. More or less saying that you can use the model's content however is necessary to provide the services. So it's saying she can't sue you because you used a selfie on an Instagram account you created to help generate traffic to an OnlyFans. That's pretty much what it's saying, right? Um, and then it's wrapping up the entire agreement. So 
this is the entire agreement. Well, legal speak saying that everything in this contract is the agreement. Then you got the severability. Uh, legal speak pretty much saying that if there's a mistake, then it doesn't cancel out the rest of the contract. I think that's what it means. Don't hold me to it. As I said, not official legal advice, all right? But, you know, you got the severability. Uh, then you got assignment. It's pretty much saying that your agency can't hire another agency to do the work for you. Pretty much, I think. I got this written up about three years ago. So, you know, I can't remember all the legal stuff, but that's pretty much what it means. Uh, governing laws and jurisdiction. It's saying that you wrote this up in the country where you are, which means that it abides by the laws where you are. Something like that. So I'm in Australia. So this was governed by the Australian laws and jurisdictions. Something like that. So you all adjust it to whatever country you're in. Then you have the age of consent, saying that the client agrees to the fact that they're over 18 and they can legally produce this type of consent because in some countries it's illegal. So it's saying that wherever they live, they're allowed to do this stuff. All right. And then everything signed down the bottom. So you got the name of the clients, signature of the clients, you, your signature, and today's date. So now I'm going to show you a little trick in ChatGPT. So as I said, you want to have those sections. So you want to cover the compensation and the laws and make sure they're over 18 and all that stuff. But then you could also use this. So you could say like create um, a contract for my OnlyFans management agency to hire a model. Anyway, we'll find out. Get a contract from my fans. Uh, yeah, boom, looks about right. All right. So look, this is pr pretty much a better version of what I just told you. So as long as you can contain all these categories and then both parties sign it and you make it look professional and include your logo and where everyone lives and stuff like that in the emails, then you can use that and then you can get signing right away. But as I said, I'd be very surprised if you actually needed it. It's more just to make the model feel comfortable, to make you feel comfortable, and then to have something there in a worst case scenario in case shit hits the fan and someone needs to sue somebody. But as I said, I've been doing this for over three years and we've never needed to go to court or anything like that. We've had models come and go and made some mistakes along the way, especially when I was just starting, but no one's ever sued anyone. But you need a contract because if you're not having a contract, then what type of business are you running? And that's it. So anyway, I hope this helped as usual. If you liked the video, go smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.